But in Germany, advertisers obviously believe there is still a lot to be said for the TV marketing strategy of seducing your potential buyer with peace, beauty and tranquility. The first jump scare video to ever be released on YouTube was for a set of German Kaffee commercials. This commercial in particular was named Auto. You gotta focus on the car, everybody gotta watch the car, this is great. Focus on the car? Focus on the car. There was one uh, famously called Ghost Car. It has like 36 million views on YouTube. Ghost Car, a video that we all know of, but most importantly, made you shit yourself. This video actually had other names such as Spooky Car Drive, Relaxing Car Drive, Auto, and the one I always knew it as, Scary Car. We won't be just looking into just Ghost Car, we'll be more looking at the backstory of Keefe, how it was made, and really the stuff we want to know about it. And we'll be actually talking about the modernised Keefe ads as well. So, let's go. Keefe was a brand in Germany that released 20 second long commercials as a part of their ever been so wide awake campaign from 2004 to 2005 until unfortunately being cancelled due to reports of heart attacks and scaring children. <laughs> these ads were created with the help of Jung Von Matt and Cobblestone Film Production. The way how these ads would work, they would begin with a very relaxing scene while playing some anti-stress music. Once 15 seconds of the video was up, Sorry about that. Then the slogan of the Ever Been So Wide Awake would appear, but the thing I always noticed was the can would beat, almost simulating the, the viewer's heartbeat after viewing the screamer. When you think about it, it makes sense. Now most people believe that Ghost Car is just the only one. Oh no, that was in fact nine. So this is the first in nine. There was fishing, yoga, meadow, surfing, beach, boardwalk, butter, golf, and of course, the one we all know of, Auto. The people who played the infamous monsters in these commercials were in fact Brod Johnson and Adam Johnson. These were the people who played the zombie and the gargoyle. Now you may be wondering, who actually created these adverts? These adverts were in fact created by Kai Sir and a big crew in fact and I'll be rolling up the credits now, not the end, it's not the end, <laughs> I'll be rolling up the credits of the names of the people right now because you know, I've got to give them credit because this is something not alone infamous, but it's it's an iconic video. And we've got to give it to them. In 2005, he actually received a silver line at the Cannes International Advertising Festival for his work at the key fee campaign of the series of nine. First up, a spot for Romania's surf washing powder, which was written by a team from BBH London, and a campaign from Hamburg's Jung von Matt for k -Fee that can only be described as an absolute scream. These are followed by two animalistic antipodean pieces, cow milking for Golden North ice cream from Bombora Adelaide, and tail wagging for Sony, directed by the sweet shop's Melanie Bridge. So you may be wondering how to come to YouTube. So it all began when YouTube began to surface on the internet, around 2005. On July 30th, 2005, an account named Mrs. Smithereen uploaded the video that would in fact terrorise your childhood and be your first nightmare. When it was first popular, people were using different like sort of stories and tricks to get people to watch it. The most common one was about the documenter who would talk about how there's a green mist behind the car and you had to look very, very closely. And also when you look close, bang in your face. This video blew up on the media and in fact got into talk shows and actually got into some TV shows with some references. Oh no, a scary goal just popped up. I'm so scared, I'm so scared, really. Aside from the TV show references, there was memes and parodies made of these adverts during the popularity. created by the Free Enterprise Fund Committee that aired in the US, most likely around 2006 when this was all going on. This advert wasn't created by Keefe or made for a coffee campaign, but was actually 
a political commercial involving taxes. It apparently criticises plans by the Democrats in Congress to raise the taxes. <laughs> the end text reads out, think that was scary? Liberal Democrats in Congress have plans for 2.4 trillion and higher taxes. The plan includes 27,000 a year and high taxes for married couples. Now that's scary. Those people began to get confused with the ending of the video actually meant. This was later on as it was getting big. At first people just thought this is a video just created by some person just to prank people. But no, in fact this is, you know, an advert for a campaign for a coffee brand. As the video was getting big, some people in the comments section began to explain how they in fact saw this on their own TVs in Germany. And some reports that it actually got banned for, as I said earlier, causes of distress. And apparently there is rumours or that there was a warning sign before the video the advert would play on TV. I've, I think I've got it, but I don't know if it's official or not. Tell me down below if this is official or not. I found it online. Warning, this may contain flashing images and scary imagery. Please do not watch if you have all conditions. As this was all getting big, Keefe had to step in and confirm that this was in fact one of their adverts for the Ever Been So Wide Awake campaign. Then they released the HD archive version of the advert to prove it to us that it was theirs. In December 2004, Keefe released four radio advertisements, Investment, Love, Relaxation and Christmas. These ads were available in English and German. The way how these radio advertisements work is they would have a um, professional voice actor describing his scenery and then of course as it goes by a loud scream appears but I personally find this a bit more dangerous because if you're on the roads and that happens come on ah Christmas time again at last and we all have such wonderful childhood memories pretty little crooked houses with chimneys puffing out trails of smoke Ah, yes and the icicles glistening in the moonlight all around the snow crunches softly under our feet, and when we come into the cosy warmth of our houses, they smell of delicious baked apples and freshly baked mince pies. And oh, how excited we are when we finally, finally hear the sound signalling the arrival of Christmas. <coughs> Funny enough, they did another one called Keefe Light. In the adverts, it was a parody of the originals where they would essentially have the same back, like, you know, stock footage as the background. And then, as we're expecting a monster to appear, it's actually just an unexpected or funny character that just appears. In the Keefe Light, I forgot what kind of drinks they were, but I remember there was a vanilla one, which is interesting. For the remaining years, it's been constantly recognised as the one that started the whole jump scare thing off. And most importantly, it started the whole thing off of not trusting people with when they send new videos. But yes, it is constantly being recognised when you see that thumbnail, you know exactly what it is, come on. We've all, we've pretty much all seen this video by now. In October 2016, a tweet was put up by Adam Johnson, stating that him and his brother Brad Johnson were in fact the two monsters that were involved with the key feed adverts all along. To prove this, he put up a behind the scenes photos, like a collage, to prove it, which is which shows him getting the makeup appliance put on for the gargoyle. Alright, so Reese asked me to tell you all how I first came across the Kefi advert, so why not? There's not much to it, but basically one day I was scrolling through YouTube when I found a video called The Relaxing Car Drive. Uh, keep in mind I was about 6 or 7, so I was too young to have figured out that they were obviously trying to trick me. So what thinking, thought I'd check it out. Uh, in the moment, my parents must have thought I'd sat on the cat. Uh, I fell off my chair and ran out of the room screaming, and now here I am interviewing the people behind it. What a world, huh? But either way, I doubt you just want to hear me ramble, so I'll let the video resume. Enjoy the rest of the interview. See ya. What's up, guys? What's up? How are you? I'm good, thanks. So do you know what we're doing, Dave? Well, I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> See, what I mean, I know doing? what we're talking about. Yep. Yes. The thing that scared me in my childhood. 
<laughs> a lot of people. Yes. Exactly. Hi guys, it's me, we spoke since my one, and we're back with the guy himself, Brad Johnson. Hey, hey. The guy who in fact played the zombie from the Kiefer Yards. Yeah. So, we really appreciate you being here today, Brad. Really do appreciate it. Yeah. So, pleasure. Pleasure. it's really great to meet you. Yeah, great to meet you guys. Thanks. Oh, yes. And this is my friend, Jamie. Sorry, that didn't introduce him there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes, I'm here too. So, essentially, we're just going to be asking you questions about, like, your time in, you know, recording the key fiads and, like, okay. the things we don't know that we want to find out. Yes. You know? <laughs> sure. Some good secrets for the internet to know. <laughs> <laughs> So the first thing I personally want to know, and I think most people want to know, is how exactly did you get into the key fiads? Like, what was the story? Like, how did you get in there? Uh, yeah, you know, it's not, I, it's not the crazy, it's not the, the most fascinating story. Um, mm -hmm. But I'll tell you, my friend was shooting them. My friend was the uh, cinematographer. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Banked Johnson is his name. He does a lot of really incredible work. And he, uh, he just called us one day and he's like, hey, I've got these, I'm doing this commercial. And we tried using puppets to, oh, to really? do the scare with. Puppets. puppets? Yeah, like a, like a little mask. We, we had mannequin. Yeah. And he's like, That's is this so not working? Odd. Yeah. I don't, don't think it would have had the same effect. <laughs> yeah. Didn't yeah. Really, yeah. Really not. Yeah. So uh, so there's actually a series of them. And, and I did some of them, and then my brother did some of them. Did you, yeah. did you, you know there's a series? Okay. So yeah. my brother is, is what they called Bat Boy. And I was. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, yeah, so they just asked us to come down. So we were we were in LA, and it was just shooting at a studio, because they shot all the other stuff, you know, before we were around. So we just shot our stuff on a green screen, and uh, yeah, so we went down to the studio, sat in, in about four hours of makeup. <laughs> oh what? man, yeah, <laughs> pretty wild. Did it feel like Jim Carrey when he did the Grinch? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> We might oh. have had a little bit bigger of a production, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah there's some all right, Jamie, yeah. do you want to ask a question? Yeah, all right. Uh, did you help get your brother into the adverts, or did like did someone else did? Actually, you know, actually, it was our our friend just called us both and asked us to both come down. They said we want to try it two different ways, and so they did. Uh, you know, so we both did it, and then I don't know if they. I think I don't know if it was because of the success of the first one that they decided to do all these other ones. You know all those other versions yeah but I, we heard a lot like a lot of people were complaining because it was like causing people to have heart attacks really <laughs> yes oh, of, like problems for kids oh, <laughs> uh. so it got banned i think it was banned in some places I believe. yeah right talk about that i'm oh, sorry do you want to finish sorry no no yeah about that i heard that it aired originally in germany and then when it was first aired apparently they had warnings before it played yeah don't blame yeah. Oh, them wow. <laughs> yeah that's right that's so funny and it was so yeah. funny because it was, it was just like a, a quick little gig we did you know one day just our friend called us went and did it really quick and did it and it just never died <laughs> it was funny yeah. like i've seen it i've seen it on the simpsons like where they're where they're watching it the oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Shows all over the place. Yeah. It's yeah. Crazy. I actually That's found crazy. a video that was the um, it was the start of like a Shining uh, spoof with The Simpsons, and then oh. someone had aired it so it, like there was like a jump scare from Homer while the car's driving <laughs> along the road. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> so you inspired that. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I wish I could so, say it was my idea. It wasn't my idea. <laughs> it was all you, no one else. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brad, what was your thoughts when you heard of the concept, like, you know, of the advert? Like, what was your thoughts on it? Uh, I always thought it was funny. I, mm -hmm. You know, I'm always down to, to uh, prank people and uh, <laughs> give a good little jump. Yep. And so, uh, yeah, it was really funny. It was, it was funny because uh, with all that makeup on and just walking around, Anybody that was like driving by or that saw us would uh, have a little panic attack. <laughs> what was that? this? This is kind of unrelated to the whole KV thing, but uh, speaking of jump scares, do you have a favorite jump scare from a horror movie or like a piece of media or something? Oh my gosh, I you know what? I, I don't I don't know if it's my favorite one, but it's a recent one, and it's a, it's actually a funny story because I don't I actually don't watch a lot of scary movies. <laughs> oh, but, surprising. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I love them, because, but I think I get so wrapped up in them at that yeah. I guess. And I was, I was watching. We were actually watching something else, 
But then a trailer for The Nun came on. Oh. oh. Right? And yes. I've never done this before. I swear this happened. I, I've never done this before. And I, I, I was made fun of this for like the next, for a long time. <laughs> but I actually did that thing where you get so scared that you you throw your popcorn. Oh, oh really? I, I actually did that in The Nun trailer. Oh. Was this in like yeah, a cinema? I, yeah, it was at the cinema. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they got me good. Yeah. Yeah, I know a lot about that advert because um, the same as the Keefe ads, people actually complained about the Nun ad, I think it was, where it just jumps at the screen. I heard about mm-hmm. a lot about that. Yeah. Oh, I also heard about the fact that um, some like a school of kids went to go see a film in cinemas, like a child film, and then they'd yeah. made a mistake and accidentally played the Nun trailer. No way. <laughs> yeah, so that definitely put a bad. Brad, um, going back to the key ads, um, how long was like the like the makeup process for you? Uh, I it was I think it was about four hours. It took four hours. Oh, they like I, I I actually have I don't know if I could find them. If I can find them, I'll send them to you guys. But I, I actually have these photos I took as I went through the process. Oh, that would be yeah. brilliant. Well, if we can oh, find them, we'll stick people. them in here. Yeah, yes. that's really cool. Uh, I have some, and then my brother has his. I know my brother has his somewhere too. Yeah, and, uh, I think one he put up in, like 2016. The cars. Oh, yeah. Have you seen that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. cool. Did you yeah. ever get any strange reactions, like from the ad, from your family or anyone? Did you get any strange reactions? Uh, uh. Like being scared, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Well, nobody, I mean, of course I showed people. The, the mm-hmm. thing is, it's like, obviously never, re- nobody recognizes me from the commercial because not only is it very short. <laughs> yeah, but, like uh, four hours of zombie makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally walk around like that. <laughs> but the funniest one is like when I when I used to show people, everybody would be like, ah, oh, you tricked me. I really thought that was you. I'm like, no, it really is me. I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> no, well, it- I'm just trying to scare them. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Whatever, fine. Oh, well. At least, at least they got jumped. Yeah. They're scared. Actually, thinking about uh, the fact that this video like surfaced and most of its popularity came from how it showed up on YouTube one day. Uh, how do you feel about all the fame that you got from there? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, really, I, I didn't get any fame from it. Really? Um, I, I, ha- I actually, I mean, only a, a few people that are actually like diehard uh, zombie people or, or whatever have ever really tracked down who it was and contacted me. So I've only had like a handful of people that well, found out. Well, we can add to that handful. <laughs> but that's cool. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. 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 Well, after this airs, uh, a lot of more people know who you are. Yes. Well, that's well, all about. Uh, yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks. So hopefully we'll be doing more uh, horror movies or something. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Cool. And I can't wait to see the one you guys are making. Yep. Oh, definitely. Well, I don't know when that will air. I don't know when that will come. I have to do a lot of we'll editing for it. Like next year. Cool, man. Why does it air? We're putting it on TV. Yeah, why does it air? Yeah. So, did any of the key feed jump scares get you? <laughs> I don't know if they did, um, because it usually I found them by looking at at them. Um, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, the only way they got me is when I was watching a different KP ad, and. Um, and then I thought it was gonna be KP, but then it was actually like somebody was using it to do something else and, and oh. did, like, scare. Yeah. So I got tricked thinking I was watching KP. <laughs> That's a whole new wormhole getting tricked into thinking you're watching right? yourself do a jump scare when it's actually <laughs> someone else. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um actually going on from the adverts, which one of the adverts is your favorite? Uh well I like the original, the uh the car. Like that yeah. one's pretty I mean that's a great one. <laughs> yeah, you but can't I, beat I, it. I, the beach one too because the beach one's pretty funny the beach one's scared the beach one was the one that scared me the most because yeah uh me and my sister we were going through the adverts or like we just went through a compilation of creepy adverts we were expecting them to be all like pg and stuff and then that one showed up when the jump scare of like bat boy were like ah the one that gets me the most has to be the meadow one you know the sunflowers i hate that one (laughs) your face comes right in the camera and i hate it it. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are good ones. Yeah, they're, they're, they did good. They did a good job. These yeah. Guys are great. The infamous classics. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is the thing that I think most people want to know. Were there any key feet ads that you shot that weren't aired that you know of? Or do you not know? You don't, not that I know of. No, I'm not sure. Yeah. Most likely, it's what I know. 
Yeah, because like one of the original stories that got people to watch the advert was that they said this advert was never aired because there was a ghost that appeared in it, and it's like oh, watch the advert and then you get got by the jump scare. Uh, <laughs> that's just a trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh huh. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> I, love the, I love when they do those. Those are fun. I know. Did you ever watch the rocking chair video? Uh, wait. Uh, it's like chair. it's like a rock it's like a rocking chair in a dark room and then uh -huh. the uh, girl from the uh what's the, the exorcist. exorcist. Yeah, the girl from the Exorcist runs at the scream. It runs at the screen. No. Yeah, really? I don't think so. I don't know if I've seen that one. Well I I, I might have seen that one, but you know what one actually that you just reminded me of? Is I think it's called Lights Out. Did you ever oh, see Lights oh, Out? Oh yeah, that oh. one. Is that oh, it's um, that's a creepy one. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, like I think yeah, it actually got like a Netflix movie recently. No way. I, yeah. I have no it was it was uh, a good film. I liked it. Honestly, okay. it's been great having you. We yeah. really, really appreciate it. It's really great it. to speak to you. For all the information. We really, really appreciate it. Well, Jimmy thanks, Willis. guys. Let me know after you watch Small Town Crime. If you ever want to talk about that, all right. watch that. Check it out. Well. All right. And, all right. And we, yes. yeah, that'd be cool. All right, I'll check it out. Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Later on. See you, man. Bye bye. See ya. Now we've got a bit of a kerfuffle here. So, when filming this um, interview, um, Jimmy forgot to connect his mic to the um, recording software, which means you can't hear his voice. I know. So, what we try to do is try our best to just kind of re-record him saying the questions, but kind it's it'll make sense when you're watching it. If you notice anything that's a bit off, just avoid it. It was a mistake, and we tried to fix it up, so excuse that. So, I hope you're doing well, and I think you understand what we're going to be talking about today, like your like your experience with the key for yards that, most importantly, terrified us as kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think you knew that your brother, we interviewed your brother as well, and yeah. that was fun. And so we want your side of the um, experience, if that makes sense. Cool. Yeah, man. I'm sure you learned from Brad. We didn't have a a whole lot to do with with everything, you know, with the creative process of it all. Yeah. We just yeah. came in when they were they were having issues. Anyway, yeah. How did you get involved with these adverts? That well, um, we had a friend who was a cinematographer for these commercials, and he introduced us into the director, um, and he told us that they were shooting these these spots for this uh, energy drink, Kafi. I didn't know, I didn't know the drink before. <laughs> and uh, he said they were shooting these spots and they, the ones they shot weren't really working because they, they were using some um, props. They were just, some, I think some heads they were popping up into the frame. Yeah. And uh, as, as I remember, but they were doing that and it, and it just wasn't giving the, the desired effect. And so he says like, he said to the guy, Asked the cinematographer if he knew any actors, and then of course he thought of me and my brother, and uh, called us up. And it sounded like fun. Do a little makeup, take part of some little commercial, you know. Always yeah. up for a little adventure, and that's that's pretty much <laughs> all we knew going into it. Yeah, it's it's uh so much you there, there's so much more nuance you can bring to something when it's real makeup and you know and it, and it feels like it's something alive. Um, I mean, some dead object also has its own creep factor, but but there's just something about this living, breathing thing in your face, right? That's a little, it's a little startling. We had no idea how startling it would be exactly. Turned out, <laughs> turned out to be pretty good. Oh yeah. All right. So, what were your thoughts on the adverts before you started them? Yeah, it was pretty amazing that the uh, the response, and we were, you know, we didn't think much of it. I mean, you do these little things, and and they're they're fun, and you're, and you know, you just do one after another, and and this one popped back up. We're like, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then you start seeing then the different languages, and then you hear about success. You hear about all of a sudden what uh, the company was being sued because they were the commercial was really loud and scaring people, scaring children at home, and so they were being sued to like <laughs> turn the volume down <laughs> on the commercials. You heard about that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, you know. We're just we're just actors living in Los Angeles and waiting, you know, going on our next commercial auditions or reading for our next theatrical audition. And so, 
when we got another call from our my buddy bank to who i said you know was a cinematographer mm-hmm. but um yeah man it's like what are you guys doing you want to come down here and hang out for a few hours like sure put some makeup on you know i mean that's one of the most fun things about being an actor is like oh we get to go down and, and transform and be something else and put this makeup i think i was in uh, I was in makeup for three and a half hours, I think, because I I was in a lot longer than Brad's. Brad's was the zombie, which which I think was the cooler of the two, just you know, because of the the movement that was involved. It was just it was cooler. For I think it worked better for this ad, but um, but mine was gnarly. It was pretty gnarly, man. It was a long time. You know, I had a great makeup artist, and it probably took about that much time, probably longer to take everything off, but. But sitting there and, and doing that transformation is really fun. So, you know, I, I we had zero expectations on for what it was, was for. And so we just thought, oh, this would be a fun little project to do. Mm-hmm. Really didn't know. And it was like a super, it was super low key, you know. It wasn't a big fanfare. It was, there wasn't a lot, you know, it, it was uh, it was in some small studio they'd rented somewhere, tiny little place. Because all we had was, well, you know, they had, they, they had a green screen and then they had a camera. We just we just kept popping up, <laughs> you know, kept popping up into the camera and caught, popping back down. I don't know. We did it for like, geez, I don't know, maybe even just 15 minutes each, you know. <laughs> and that was about it. So we're like, yeah, okay. We come up and, you know, work on different ways we can come in and bring a little danger into it or whatever. What's the most terrifying? And they're breathing in and, and just like, you know, all the visceral, you know, intensity that might come in that just out of nowhere. That yeah. would uh... Actually, the beach one was the one that scared me the most out of all of them. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, um, I found it on a video that me and my sister were watching. Uh, I mean, it was just a compilation of random commercials. And when that one came on it, uh, we weren't expecting it and it scared the hell out of us. <laughs> Fantastic. You said that was you and your sister? Yes. Oh man, that's really, I mean, that's really fun. You know, it's fun to be a part of something like that, that has an effect on people and has a, you know, it, it leaves people with memories of, of something, you know? <laughs> I was going to ask um, how long this makeup process, but I also heard, yeah, I also heard that the makeup artist wasn't paid enough, so you had to get the makeup off yourself. Right. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, oh. we're. What did he give us, man? I mean, we. What did Brad say? I think we. we he gave us like seventy-five bucks or to go to come down there, and we're like, yeah, whatever, man. We'll just come down, you know, make a little bit of money, sure, hang out with our buddy, and um, yeah, the makeup artist was there forever. Then he's like, uh, anyway, here's some makeup remover and some cotton balls. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> just get in the shower, you know, let it come off. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, no big deal. God, it was it was a long time. I was pulling that stuff out forever. I had to shave for it. I don't remember if if I was if I had shaved before. I think I I had to shave for it. Oh. You know, it was super intense. It was like all in my ears, you know, and just everything. Just that stuff was it was gnarly. So you have a whole. I mean, if it was a proper job, it would have been, you know, a good seven hours of makeup, putting it on and taking it off. Yeah, I've, I've learned since then. I was like, if, the, if they're going to put something on there, I'm going to go ahead and get the makeup artist to help me take it off and, you know, get a little help. Yeah. Well, man, I've had I've had a lot of makeup on, and it sure is nice when they're there to take it back off. Uh, was anyone scared of the makeup you were wearing while you were on set? Um, did we? We might have scared ourselves somewhat. Yeah, I was looking in the mirror because it was just the four of us down there. Yeah, I have done things before where I did a movie where I was just completely bloodied up, you know, and you forget and you're driving home, you stop by the grocery, you know, the little 7-Eleven or something to pick up some snacks. <laughs> you forget you're wearing all this stuff and they're like, they're like, you okay, buddy? You need me to call somebody? <laughs> but um, in this case, we were just on our little, she was just on that little set. And uh, I mean, I'm sure I drove home with plenty of gunk on me but i think we tried to peel off most of it so on when you were filming these ads the green screen parts 
what was what did you get told to do for the jump scares? Like, what did you get told to do? Yeah, I mean, there was a there really wasn't you know a whole lot of uh, something to go off of, mm-hmm. other than just like mm, they're just like shouting out stuff for us to do. You know, the director's like, uh, pop up and you know. Breathe in, breathe out. It's mostly just kind of physicalities and stuff, you know, that we were playing with. I'm sure we tried a lot of different things, you know, coming in from the sides or popping up, popping up or or dropping down. You know, I think actually I think they turned it upside down on some of the commercials to pop down from above. Yeah. You know, it was just a, <laughs> there's a there's a limit to how much different how many different ways you can pop up and and breathe and like you know scream or whatever. <laughs> But, you know, you pretty much exhaust those in about 10 minutes, you know, if that. But it is, you know, it is, it is a lot of work because you're coming in and again, you're trying to have that energy and everything, you know, so, so um, you're holding that intensity and you're doing hyperventilating a lot and giving those screams or whatever. And what did we do? I think we, did we even do screams? I, I think he said, He's yeah. like, oh, yeah, don't worry about screaming because we're going to put those in and post, which he did. But, you know, you still have to do it to really sell it, to, to really make it look real. You need to have those real yeah. emotions. And the only way to really do that is to really go through with a lot of that stuff, you know. Because a lot of people are wondering who, in fact, did the scream. Because I had a friend of mine who was asked, what, did they, in fact, do the scream? He's like, no, it sounds more like a woman to me, doesn't it? I don't know why. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. They tried to find, you know, you dial in the perfect amount of, you know, levels of, uh, you know, high, highest amount of screeches to maximize the crew factor. What's going to really pierce through everything that everybody's doing to just make them grab their pants. Right? So you said your friend got you into it. Uh, did he come up with a concept or did Kefi like call him and ask him to find someone for the adverts? Um, you know, so Banked, Banked Johnson was the cinematographer. Um, he was working with this director. I think, I think the director was German. It's been so long. I think it's Kaiser. I did some research. I believe that's him. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I think he's the one that came up with the idea. And I don't remember how he knew Banked. Banked was our connection. You'd think we'd go on and do many projects with, with these guys afterwards, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe now, after this documentary comes out, finally start rolling with that stuff. What were your thoughts when you saw these adverts completed? I mean, we were super impressed, right? Um, it was, it was really bizarre watching them um, pop up more and more on social media. Well, this is before a lot of social media was out there, but like on YouTube or you know, Jay Leno showed one of them on his show, and like yeah. that was really surreal. They show they show one of Brad Zombie zombie pieces uh you know on there and that was really fun and then so i would send it i remember one time i sent it out to some friends i go hey guys check out this commercial i did and uh <laughs> their response was that's a really good setup man i'm gonna do the same thing <laughs> and so they're like oh cool there's a commercial my buddy did is watching it and i guess it scared the crap out of them so they they thought i'd send it to them as a joke i'm like no 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 for real it was me i was for really <laughs> but it turns out it was a really great way to to uh scare people set them up right so that was really fun man and and having that go across you know being shared across the world and then coming back to us and being shared with us you know hey guys check out this video and we're like oh that's really funny yeah (laughs) yeah, i've seen this seen it from the other side of the camera that was really awesome then i heard it won it won some awards at can some some commercial awards it was really great i mean uh, anything that that you never know what's going to hit right you do all sorts of stuff and then and then uh, you hopefully see your stuff pop up. And so it was really fun mm-hmm. to see this stuff come back. Uh, from the start, did people already know that you and Brad were the monsters in the ads? Yeah, nobody nobody recognized us at all for being in these spots, you know. In fact, I, I would tell people, like, yeah, right. And I'm like, no, it was me. <laughs> and so I had, to, I had to dig up some photos of when we did that. And I think the only photos we had was where were pictures I took off of my I had some Samsung flip some LG flip phone or something like that <laughs> it's an old flip phone taking these little so the pictures were like this big so the quality is super low and funny enough when I was doing some research I found tons 
of behind the scenes photos of the crew recording the sets. And I think it was oh. crazy. Yeah, there was a one of um, someone playing golf, you know, the golf one for yeah. Lord. And there was them setting up the car for the Odo one. It's, uh-huh. it's really cool seeing how they're yeah. doing it. Yeah, that was the uh, that was the fun part of the shoot. We were stuck in some tiny little studio in, in uh, Hollywood, you know, <laughs> some little hot shoes. It must have been like, I don't know, 20 feet by 20 feet studio space we were in, something tiny, you know, basically just like a little prison block shooting our stuff. And then those guys <laughs> travel around the world going to beaches and beautiful scenery and yoga yeah. retreats and all that stuff. Out of curiosity, do you have any idea where these locations were or did you not know anything at all? Nothing. No, we were oh. we were like, we were just, you know, kept in the dark. It's a neat thing to know and we were only, <laughs> we we're there to pop up. You're just being utilized as a tool, you know? Yeah. That's all you are at this point. So, the last question is, what was your overall opinion? Like, how would you feel with the popularity over time? Like, how would you feel with the popularity that it's gained? I was super proud to be a part of something like that, you know? Um, I love the fact that it's it's connected with so many people. It's yeah. it's a really great feeling and, and it's it's fun, even though people, they have a hard time believing that we were in there in them at all. <laughs> but, but uh, Oh, it's 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 one of those things that's really fun. I'm like, oh, it's a little little uh, part in history, a little piece of uh, history of commercials, you know. I mean, we like doing stuff like that. My little brother and I, my, my my little brother and I, and their older brother, you know, we've been doing all sorts of stuff together for years, and and you know, we just love just love making movies and making these fun videos or comedy bits and stuff. So, you know, we would do this stuff for free if we could. If we had to, we would. That's great. That shows commitment. Like, yeah. To do it. That's like us, me and my friends. And um, we do short films together as well out of fun and enjoyment because I think it's just knowing you're entertaining getting behind the screen. It's just, it's a nice feeling, you know? So it's kind of yeah. like, I like it. Thanks for joining us, though. Like, it, it really means a lot to us. Exactly. Yeah, good to talk to you too. All right. It was great to talk to you, man. Uh, have a nice night. See ya. But it's a pleasure, guys. Bye-bye. In summer of 2019, an American YouTuber under the name of Find a Lurker had created 21 videos of what modernized advertisements for the now defunct Keefe Coffee flavored energy drink would have looked like today. These commercials are similar to the original advertisements the company had originally made. Now, with these ones, this, in my opinion, it confused me myself because I generally believed Keefe returned, but it was so well made. And don't get me started on the end with like the pop and the can, because that is so well done. And I'll be interviewing the guy who made these and was the monster soon, and he'll explain how he did all that. Very clever. Hey man, what are we doing? Hey guys. You know, I think you understand what we'll be talking about today, right? Now, would you care to start off by just telling us who you are and where you stand in the Keefe topic? I'm Devin Millar, and I made the modernized Keefe commercial parodies, and I think I pretty much made them a thing again due to it. It's a huge achievement. So, what made you want to make these Keefe remakes? Now, I've always been a fan of Keefe, and especially most internet screamers for that matter. I would watch them with my friends, and I would always, uh, I always have good times watching them. But then one day I thought, hey, what would these ads look like if they were remade today? And that's when I got started around it in 2016. And for a while they actually became a little lost in my hard drive. And then in like 2018, I decided to upload them to YouTube to show the world my idea. And there was that. So how, how did you react when you saw all these views coming in, like when everyone was viewing them? How did you um, I remember waking up on Saturday morning and looking at my phone and I just remember going, Oh my god! I'm, I'm telling you, I was jumping and screaming. It was it was amazing that my ads became pretty much famous overnight and the fact that people love them so much. It was probably the greatest feeling in the world. <laughs> Who was the monster in these new Keefe ads? As you can tell, of course, me. 
I am, in fact, the monster from the Modernized KP ads. It's really just a bunch of green screen footage of me jumping up and putting After Effects effects on my face to make me look like some creepypasta character, which in a way kind of adds to the modern factor. Could you explain what the process was behind making these videos? How do you make them? It was actually pretty easy for the most part, and actually very little thought was actually put into them when I made them. I just simply had just filmed a bunch, a bunch of random stock footage around my house and then just uh, applied the green screen footage of me jumping up and, and going ah! you know, and then just put After Effects effects on my face and then just put them all together with my own music and um, did, did little effects and animations and then from there on forward I just uploaded them as is. Have you done any other things apart from these key ads? Um, I do music, art, and animation, and a bunch of other things too, and of course, uh, other video parodies too. This is just one of them. I just simply just wanted to like uh, make something that would be great for my secondary channel where the majority of most video parodies that I make go to, basically. Finally, will you ever return to making these new key fiat ads? Oh yeah, in fact, I have a lot of key fee ads that I made that uh, have actually haven't been released yet that I'm going to be releasing very soon, like a bunch of other green screen footage and a bunch of other stock footage too of like uh, other places that are, are, are around where I live and places I've been to in the same way as the original uh, modern, modernized KP ads. Oh, thank you for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. I think people who will be viewing this appreciate it too. You talking and obviously being a part of this story of Kifi. Really, really See everyone, cool. and thank you so much. Ah, we're at the end. If you've made it to the end, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed creating this. It's been a very, very odd ride making this, actually, funny enough. It's been interesting. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to do more. Comment down below what you want me, what you want me to do with my next topic based on. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Like, bell like, and subscribe, and turn the notifications on for many more videos. See you later.